justice just a little bit. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh. Pissed off every day. Oh, every day. Goal was to make this short. Okay. Let's do this. There's a lot of individuals that are just trying to do their own thing. Not paying attention to the prophecies. The prophecies say the Lord is going to rebuild the tabernacle of David in the last days. So how in the F are we going to have one man trying to gather people unto himself? As if the tabernacle of David has not already been underway, being rebuilt. That the process is underway. So these are demons jumping on people. A man ain't going to do that on his own will. There's a spirit behind that. I mean, just make myself the king. The king. I'm the king, you know? Unbelievable. No, you're the king of comedy. The kings of comedy is what's happening here. The kings of comedy. Bugs out. Here it is. The tabernacle of David has been on, under construction for some time now. But you're going to just try to do your own shit. Over the last three months, I've been talking about... Boys in the hood spirit. You know, boys in the hood. And um, what else I've been saying? Fake it till I make it, Jakes. Over the last three and a half months. A lot of fake it till I make it. You're lucky we under the devil. Because if the government was already established, there would be a lot of extra bird feed for the birds. A lot of extra bird feed. We're tired of Afro-Americans and Negroes. Shalom. Barakata Yahawah. Barakata Yahawah Shai. Barakata Yahawah. Barakata Yahawah Shai. Call him Laimla. Yahawah. Bahashem. Yahawah Shai. Bahashem. Rukakadash. All praises thee. To the Most High, <laughs> Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity. In truth and sincerity. <laughs> Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. Order, order my steps in your word. <laughs> Shalom, beloved. Order my steps in your word. So, praying three times a day, it should be geared towards the rebuilding of the Lord's house the reestablishment of the tabernacle of David and the destruction of Edom. And a part of that building is health and wellness for the Lord's saints, praying that they be healed to do the work. We already got some on the comment board. So there's a lot of, I'm going to do my own thing, Jakes. Here it is, the <laughs> The apostles have been laboring for damn near 40 years. But a little small bud that just sprung up out of the ground is trying to heap up unto himself disciples. And the water below for recommending I watched the entire video of Saints of Jersey. I just finished it today. The video of Saints of Jersey. And it's really sad. Here it is. We got something really big going on. But that boys in the hood, New Jack City spirit is still springing up. 
trying to disrupt the Lord's building. I'm the man. You know, I'm the king. No, the kings of comedy is getting ready to be put down. The kings of comedy. A bunch of bug outs. The Bible says riches is not comedy for a niggar. So a niggard is just going to try to take everything for himself. He wants all the credit. I am the house of David. How many remember that nigga? I know you remember. I'm not going to say his name. But a demon jumped on him. He said, I am the house of David. No, you're just a black ass Afro-American. I'm just telling you. Don't take it personal. That's what you are. A Nino Brown type dude. Let's go check the common board. So we can't have nothing nice. Because the Afro-American is going to try to take everything and get all the credit for himself. I'm sick of this. Okay? This is absolutely ridiculous. You're drinking Coca-Cola. Talking about I am the house of David. A New Jack City Nino Brown looking nigga. The Lord is getting ready to bathe the streets of Babylon with the blood of the Afro-Americans. All right? And Big Mama raised offspring. No backbone. Okay? You got to go. We're sick of this. I'm not going to say what I really want to say right now. <coughs> but it's brutal. It's very brutal. Brother Tazak, Brother Tazadakta, Banya Howard. John 4 and 24. The Most High, Yahweh, is a spirit. Beautiful. Yeah, this is very, very germane to the topic. Very relevant right now. See, there's a lot of jakes. They just think this is a, a new fad in black culture. You know, this is just a, a new fad. The in thing. I just want to be in the in crowd. So I can make myself known amongst the brothers. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? I thought I was getting away from the Negro when I was called into the truth. Not so. They've just been regenerated. Let's read that again. John 4 and 24. The Most High, Yahweh, is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So the spirit of the Lord's will says that in that day I will rebuild a tabernacle of David as in the days of old. Not one Negro with six followers on WhatsApp talking about I'm not moving from Ghana. All right, you was in the military, by the way. When the devil said you're on assignment orders to go to Germany, your weak, broke back, beta male, sick black ass went to Germany. You didn't have nothing to say. When the devil said you got orders to go to Germany. Here it is. The, the elders said we need you up here in Raleigh. I'm not leaving Garner. But your black ass got on orders and you went wherever the devil told you to go. While you was on active duty. You can't play with the truth. Let's read that again. John 4 and 24. I'm not leaving Garner. But the devil put you on assignment orders while you was on active duty in the army, didn't he? John 4 and 24. The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him in... Oh, I'm getting frustrated. John 4 and 24. The Most High, Yahweh, is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Yeah, they don't rebel against their, their daddy, Sleazy E. All right, boss. All my stuff is in boxes right now, dear boss. I already done packed up the flat screens too, dear boss. I'm getting ready to get my ass up the road, boss. I've got to purchase flight tickets, not a problem. See, this is why the Lord's got to bathe the streets of Babylon with the Afro-American. You see, this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay? Absolutely, I'm getting angry as I'm speaking right now when I begin to process everything. Everything's packed up there, boss. You need me to pack the cat, I can pack her ass up too. This is absolutely ridiculous. But see, the Lord can see you, boys in the hood. <clears throat> Brother, 
Brother Amok, your eyes from your howler. Sirach 10 and 12. Yep. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. So what we begin to do is make ourselves the authority. I know the Lord is calling me up here to rally the fellowship with the tabernacle of David, the lively stones that are being built together. But I'm getting ready to stay here in Garner. I like it here. I'm comfortable here. I'm not going to be commuting to Raleigh. You see? So you're departing from the Most High's will, which is rebuilding the tabernacle of David. The Lord is, is doing this thing through the spiritual decree. It has very little to do with what we want. I got called up to, to wherever I went. I didn't say, why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? What do you mean I got to be? Why are you got, you know? But see, an Afro-American, he's not born again. He's still black in the mind. You see? He's only a team player if he's the team leader. That's when he's a team player. That's Esau, the devil. So you're really a little replica of Esau. Only a team player when you're the team leader. Let's read that again. Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. Your mind. So the only way to be joined to the Most High is to be born again through the Spirit, a spiritual baptism. And that bridge is your Shai. Sirach 10 and 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. So everything that the heathens built upon is not built on a solid foundation of wisdom. And those heathens start with the two-thirds house of Israel. Many crept in unaware. So they're not building on a sure foundation of prophecy. When the Most High says he's going to rebuild the tabernacle of David, that's every swinging bat and two balls. Not I'm going to count myself out because I'm here near the homies and Garner. But yet, when you came on assignment orders in the military, you packed up. Even the cat was screaming for mercy. Getting ready to pack up the damn cat. But see, when the, when the most high calls, though, you're not going to re respond. When I called, you did not answer. You see, that's all scriptural. Okay, boss, I'm packing up right now, dear boss. The Lord sees you. Yeah, they won't rebel against Zaddy. Or daddy. This is absolutely ridiculous. Or the Tazadda, Tazadda, Banyahawda, Luke 10 and 1. After these things, the Lord appointed over, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. So we're supposed to go where the Lord sends us. And the Most High has men that are delegated authority. So if we're rebelling against that order, then we are rebelling against the Lord's will. Luke 10 and 2. Therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send laborers into his harvest. That he would send. So when you get an elder calling you, saying you need to be in New York this day, or D.C., the Lord is working through that man. Somebody post that. I have called, but ye refuse. I think it's Proverbs 1. No, that's just elder so-and-so. So 
So I'm going to tell him, just get ready to stay where I'm at. I like it where I'm at. Or where you going to be? I'm going to be where I'm at. That's the end of spirit. Or where you going to be? I'm going to be where I'm at. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, right here. Proverbs 1 and 23. See? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So we just see man. Not knowing the most high spirit is working through men. Because, see, watch this. So that phone call you got, we need you up here in Raleigh. A fellowship with the brothers. You thought that was just a man. Well, I'm just go ahead and ignore him. That's just flesh, flesh and bones. Well, you, you're being carnal. Watch this. Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Those are just men. So I'm going to go ahead and do my own thing. I'm the man. You see, I'm Nino Brown. I am the house of David. Okay? Unbelievable. So you can ignore the Most High is calling out to you. Extending his hand to mercy. Slapping his hand. Jake bugged out. But see, this is a God complex. You got that from Sleazy E. A God complex. Thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. So I'm going to create my own paradise, you see, and build up brothers that I like around me. Proverbs 1 and 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. You refuse correction, order, being critiqued, chastised. Jake hates order. I got witnesses. I was called. I need you here this day. Okay, not a problem. I did it when I was in the military. You see? So they refuse the most highest counsel, but to accept the devils, that means your heart is darkened. Okay, you still love your master. You probably got that ooh in your ear in the old days. I got it right here for you there, boss. Go ahead and stick it right down the center. Ooh, that hurts, boss. You see, I'm going to bend over for you there, boss. I know it's going to hurt their master, but I'm going to go ahead and bow down to you. The Lord's got a clean house and clean up this jungle of the two-third wicked Israelites. This is absolutely embarrassing. I know it's going to hurt their boss. But you just take the time, dear master. I've been down this rodeo before, dear boss. The Lord's got to get rid of your ass. Proverbs 1 and 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So the Lord is removing a hedge of protection from you. When you look at the individuals that fall out, when you look at a, a video of them, some of them done dyed their hair green. They're wearing these big old hula hoop earrings, mumbling and, and stuff to themselves. Them spirits just, the floodgates of demonic energy take over these vessels because the spirit of wisdom is not dwelling in you anymore. So you just bug out. You got a clean line, look like a square, look like the Tin Man from the Wiz. You see, slide some oil to me. You done lost the oil. Now you got to edge up like the damn Tin Man from the Wiz. Bug out. Talking about slide some oil to me. No, you done lost the oil. Brother GMS, I'm off your ice from your howling. Surat 21 and 9. The congregation of the wicked is like tow wrapped together. And the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. Now we have 
the wicked, which is sleazy E, and the nation of Edom in its entirety. But then we also have wicked followers of them joined to the synagogue of Satan, the wicked two-third Israelites. And some of them are masquerading as being in the truth. Fake it till I make it, Jake. Sirach 21 and 10. The way of sinners is made plain with stones, but at the end thereof is the pit of hell. So the Lord's mind with stones are coming together. When a master builder is looking at stones, if they're not cut the exact specifications to be joined to the overall building, then they are rejects. The specifications of each stone is carefully cut, carved, and measured out. So if you're a bogged out stone, then you're going to be thrown out. Your specs are off. Your character is off. Your conscience is defiled. So the spirit of wisdom or that temperate mortar is not going to jail with your spirit. For you to be racked and stacked in the Lord's temple. The master builder is Yahweh Shai that has delegated that authority to master builders. When we read 1 Corinthians 3, we're understanding. So if you're above that stone with a little crown stuck into your brick, then you're going to get thrown out. Try to crown yourself the king. You're not going to be fitly and tightly joined with the other stones that are in there right now. What is this little stone with a crown sticking out of him? Hey, throw that, throw his ass out. He's not right. I'm the king. Nino Brown type, type Negroes. The spirit has been on me to get, get on that. You know, boys in the hood, fake it till I make it. I'm the king. Unbelievable. Brother, raising the elect. Luke 11 and 26. Then go of he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Next thing you know, they're drinking Coca-Cola with a lined up beard, a little line going down both sides, calling that a beard. That ain't no beard. That look like Twizzlers stuck to your face, that black licorice. Okay, one on each side of your face. Talking about that's a beard. Bug out, drinking a Coca-Cola on video. So the Lord is exposing those that have other or alternative intentions, alternative agendas. So these are demonic spirits clinging to those in whom the spirit of wisdom has rejected. So when that spirit of wisdom rejects an individual, then it creates a vacuum. So seven more demonic spirits occupy that space. Next thing you know, they're praising Yabba Dabba Do and saying the Gentiles can be saved, the natural heathen and Gentiles, they can make it now. Now the way to enter into the kingdom, we got to love our slave master Esau, Edom, all types of abominable doctrines. There's going to be a third beast now, by the way, of Rome. A third beast that's going to come against the tabernacle of David. See, these men got demons on them. They're not in their right mind. That's why the scriptures say, separate from them and avoid them and mark them. They got demons on them. And to get technical, and I know this is going to hurt some feelings. The moment we change the doctrine, we're worshiping another God. I'm going to have to take my time and say that again. The moment we change the doctrine, we're worshiping another God. Because the Most High don't deal with gray area. He don't deal with a gray area, Jake. We can't be lukewarm. We're either hot or cold. We're either left or right. Let your Yay be yay and your nay be nay. So the moment we deviate from the doctrine, we're serving another God. 
and by default serving the spiritual demon Satan under his minions, the wicked followed by rebellious Israelites. And the penalty for that is death. Brother Gabar Ayash, Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So they're carrying dark energy, dark demonic energy. So to bring that into the congregation, energy is contagious. It rubs off the spirit of rebellion, the spirit of backbiting, murmuring. That's the end of spirit. I don't know why the hell they calling me talking about I got to be in this city this Saturday. I got other shit to do. Why the hell I got? Why the hell you calling me? You see? So they've taken on a mixture of Big Mama wearing a blonde wig and Sleazy E wearing a pink suit and green tie. Luminescent, bright green. Okay? With pacifier and bibs tattooed all over his suit. Bug out. So there's a mixture of bug out spirits on him. The serpent and a bugged out Eve. So these men don't know which way is up. Reprobates. That's scary. The end of and sleazy E mix. That's some high level demonic, you know. <laughs> that's scary. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Romans 16 and 18. See, for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple, heaping unto themselves disciples. But notice they're not serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So by default, worshiping another god. And according to the word, the penalty for that is death. I'll get ready to wrap this up. Can't make this long. Let's go to um, Psalms 26. So we got to get out of our feelings. I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, and the way to, the way to get lifted up is to be pulled outside of our comfort zone. If we're too comfortable, we're going off. If we are too comfortable, we are going off. So to get pulled out of that comfort zone, that's the most high doing that. Because we need it. First Peter 4, Boba Kasha. If we're suffering, then we are without sin. So this is a test. This is a showcase, you see, to be tested and tried. We were sent to America to be subject to payments. You know, not but my name up in lights, N-I-N-E, you know. You know, pimping ain't easy type jakes. Nino Brown. So if we're too comfortable, we are, something is off. Yeah, somebody posted it. No, we need that to suffer is without sin. I think it's 1 Peter 4. But Jake is trying to get his comfort items right here. His sanitary items. A lot of our Jakes are bugged out of their damn mind. Where's this at? 1 Peter 4. Right here. 1 Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. So this body, this mortal shell has to be tormented with the stripes of affliction to earn our stripes, so to speak, to get promoted through the spirit by killing and afflicting the flesh, mortifying the members of the flesh. 
So getting too comfortable trying to heap up boys in the hood that weren't comfortable with, rather than being pulled the fellowship with the brothers, then that's off. That's right. Lean not unto thy own understanding. Let's get that one. Proverbs 3, verse 4. Let's go to 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So this table is the doctrine which should be attached to our mind. Not just memorizing and spitting off precepts, rapid fire. But it should be attached to our psyche, our mind. Bind them to thy heart. Proverbs 3 and 4. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. So whenever a man plants his seed into a woman, that seed attaches itself to the spinal cord of that woman and works its way up to the, the brain stem. So she takes on a mindset of her husband. But in these days, a lot of these women got 100 different sperms attached to her brain stem, going up her spinal column, mixing seed. So she's yabber dabbing and getting loud and aggressive and, ah, you know, that's bugged out. The same thing with the doctrine. Man-made doctrine, selfishness, Islam, worshiping a rock, Buddha, you see, comedic, black-ass, Afro-American, Afrocentricism, all of that mixed in, you get a bug out. Selfishness, okay, same thing. No different from a woman with multiple seed that climbed up her spinal column and attached to the brain stem. So this word should be attached to our psyche, our conscience, our mind. Let's go back to verse uh, 4. 3. Proverbs 3 and 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So the word should be attached to our mind. That word heart goes back to law in the Hebrew. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. See? So, seeking unto the Most High our husband for guidance through the bridegroom Yahweh Shai. The woman is supposed to take direction and guidance from her husband, her man. See? Verse 6. Proverbs 3 and 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So, submitting to the will of a heavenly father. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Imagine trying to take the, um, the bride down the aisle and walk that straight and narrow path. She pulling and tugging away from you. Why the hell I got I ain't got to go down and do down there? Let's just take pictures. I just want to take pictures. Why the hell we gotta walk down this? You know, can you imagine that? There's the door. There's the door. Okay? There's the door. Unbelievable. You try to have a nice little stride, you know, down the aisle. The straight and narrow path. She pulling and tugging away, trying to take her heels off. These damn things hurt my damn feet. Why the hell? I don't know why they bore them any damn way. You know? So you laughing hyenas that are rebellious. The Lord is getting ready to delete you. Proverbs 3 and 6 again. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So this comes with a submissive spirit. Being a calmly and delicate woman. Is that not written? I promise you I'm not making this stuff up. So what we have is a replica 
of the Afro-American black woman mixed with Esau Edom. And the byproduct of that are rebels, rebellious Israelites. You see, rebels. And that's a bad mix. The serpent seed with a rebellious Eve. That's bugged out on steroids. Methamphetamines mixed with opioids. I mean, absolutely, you're gone, buddy. You are gone. Proverbs, no, let's go to Psalm. No, nope, let's go to this one. Brother uh, Tazadat the Banya Haura. Psalms 25 and 5. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. So remember, a good wife is a mind well instructed. I think that's a uh, Sirach 24. Sirach 24, maybe. I love going to that. Come on, man. Let's, let's go to that. This thing is acting up. Sirach 26. No, I think it's 24. One moment. It's around 26 and 14. It's around 26 and 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. So this insinuates being submissive. Calm the indelicate woman. You, you, we need you here this Saturday. The fellowship with the brothers. Why the hell why the hell are you calling me? No, okay, brother. Okay, elder, I'll be there. What time? The hell are you calling me for? I got shit to do. That's the end of spirit. Why the hell are you calling me? I was about to get in the shower. Unbelievable. That's what's that big woman on uh, Norbit? That's her. Respucia. Yeah, that's her. So you Respucia Jakes are off. Way off. Respucia Jakes. What the hell is this? Let's go to Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delicate woman. So, so that's submissive and putting on the doctrine of instruction, the will of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Let's get ready to close out. So it takes killing the old man and putting on a new man to be refreshed, which is washed through the spirit of baptism, which is the entire doctrine. Let's go to Psalms 26. Psalms 26. The book of Psalms, chapter 26, verse one. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. Walking in integrity is not speaking out against the order, the leadership. What you see is what you get, not backbiting and murmuring against the brotherhood. Psalms 26 and 1. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. So when a brother is speaking, or an elder, or a man of the Lord, that's trusting in the Lord. When he say, we need you to fellowship. We need you to build together with us. We need you here. The Most High is not going to send an Instagram text message or WhatsApp message. 
You know, what you up to? So he's speaking to us through the building that he has already established. The support beings. I think Elder Monaghan used that phrase. So the support beings have already been erected on the foundation of Yahweh Shai. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Not leaning on our own understanding. That's why the Spirit took us to Proverbs 3. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. So what we just read about a test, to be tested and tried. That means we're going to catch hell. So this is not an easy walk. We might have to commute somewhere, bad traffic, or two-hour commute. It might be painful. We might be dealing with some health issues, some health problems, and family problems, money problems. So this is hell. This is hell. We're subject to payments. Family acting up. Our health is not good. Anxiety attacks. Panic attacks. Dehydration. Back pain. Diabetes. Migraines. Arthritis. Nerve pain. Nerve damage. I'm going to just stay at home, you know? But if we're able to be somewhere, then resisting the flesh or the easy path and taking the hard right over the easy left-hand turn. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Test the depths of my mind. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. So there's only one path. One way. Not I'm just getting ready to create a boys in the hood, New Jack City shit here in Garner somewhere. Okay? Or Philly. The city of brotherly love. Let's just keep our crew. You know? Bug out. I'm just familiar with you brothers. So let's just go ahead and create the two live crew right here in our small town. You know, a good homie type of feeling. A good old Small town, homey feeling. You see, right where we're comfortable. Unbelievable. But the tabernacle of David is being built across multiple states. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So the straight and narrow path is meant to be hard, tedious, dangerous, difficult. My goodness gracious. Psalms 26 and 3. So notice the Lord loving kindness. So really this is a display of love when we're catching hell. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. The entire doctrine and suffering for truth's sake. I have not set with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers, backbiters, murmurers, separating from that. So to be holy means separate. So it's very easy to rebel against authority, order, because it feels good. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. So King David is in the spirit of Yahweh. You see, therefore I hate every false way. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. Let's go to Proverbs, not Proverbs. Let's go to Psalms 119 and 104. A book of Psalms, chapter 119, 
verse 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. So this doctrine is compared to honey. The entire book, Psalms 119 and 104, through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So to speak out against the foundation of Yahweh Shai built on the support beams or the support structure of the apostles is off. It's rebellious. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So the straight and narrow walkway is tedious, but it is well ordered. It's structured. Let everything be done decently and in order. So it's easier, or the yoke is light. Let's put it that way. That's the better terminology. The, lo the yoke is light when we're following the righteous path of Yahweh, a straight and narrow walkway. Let's go back to the comment board. Yep, Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. So these virgins are disciplined. They are submissive. They are supporting or bowing down to the order. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. So there are rebels that are trying to join unto this doctrine, unto this weight, uh, unto this work. Excuse me. Now the five foolish ones, they're going to run out of the oil. Or they're going to mismanage that oil. Mismanage the doctrine. And they're going to deviate from the beaten path. Matthew 25 and 3. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. So running out of oil is the light is out. There's no light burning. And the light of the glorious gospel is what Yahweh Shai threw the apostles showed us. So to come against that light, to come against the lesser illuminaries, it puts us in a dark, lonely state. That's when these spirits can operate. Dark, demonic spirits. Murmuring, backbiting, vicious, full of debate. Matter of fact, let's go from there. Let's go to Romans 1. Romans 1. Romans 1. I'm getting ready to show it. <clears throat> Romans 1, verse 21. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful. Unthankful to parents. We know that scripture. So we have spiritual parents. These are the apostles and elders. Not being self-exalted. Self-exhortation. Nino Brown type jakes. Which is really self-worship. Idolatry. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened, ran out of oil, so the lights are out. They don't have the light of the glorious gospel. Yahweh Shai, the apostles, the disciples, see, 
So they're blind. And blind lead the blind. I know you see that. Let's read that again. <clears throat> so they're not thankful to the order that Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, put in place. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. The foolish virgins with no oil, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God unto an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. Corruptible man, follow me. I'm the king. So the kings of comedy are being exposed. The light is shining on your dark, odious works. Okay? The foolish virgins. Rebellious. Why the hell I got to do this? I ain't got no, you know. That's you. Rescue Jakes. And you want your leaders to be a leaf or a reed blowing in the wind. Lint noodle broke back leaders is what you want. So you want to be a Rasputia, strong arming the men and the order your how about shipping how to try set up going against your husband. Let's keep it moving. Let's go back to um we're getting ready to close out. Psalms 26. Yeah, Rasputia Jinx. The hell you calling me for? You know, unbelievable. When I call, you refuse. You see? Unbelievable. Psalms 26 and 4. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with the assemblers. Murmurers, backbiters, the centers. Those that are sowing discord. Somebody get me that Bubakasha in Proverbs 6. These six things that I hate. I agree with you. How about Hashem Yahabashai? I hate Nino Brown too. He just trying to be exalted and build up himself and his own little two live crew congregation. You see, boys in the hood type spirit. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with the assemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocency, so will I compass thine altar, O Lord. Beautiful. Now let's go there. King David is in the right spirit. Hate Nino Brown type niggas. Or those drinking the Coca-Cola talking about I am the house of David. The Lord is going to get rid of you wicked black billy goats. I'm just telling you. Don't take it personal. Brother Tazadak Brother Tazadak Von Yehowda Proverbs 6 and 16 these six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him. So seven unclean spirits are filling up these Nino Brown and Rasputia Jakes. I'm just telling you. Okay, these are spirits behind all of these things the Lord is against. But that means you've been rejected is what this is telling us. So he's assigning spirits on you. That decision is being made in the heavenly realm. Who would go and persuade Nino Brown to try to keep up unto himself followers after this nigga? The Lord is doing that. Who will go and persuade this bugged out, what's his name? Um, what's that doctor? Oh, Dr. Phil of Israel. Who would go and persuade him to do that? See? So the Lord is doing that. 
or 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 Ezel. Loan me a thousand dollars, brother. You see, the Lord is doing that, which is a sign of being rejected. Proverbs six and sixteen. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. See? So that's the spirit of Cain. Also, the spirit of Saul. You see, bloodthirsty, rebellious, backbiters, debaters. Well, I missed that in Romans 1. Let's go back to it. Romans 1, verse 28. And even, let's go to Romans 1 and 27. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. So this is a spirit of debauchery, odious works. Dark demonic spirits are assigned to these men. A perverse spirit, which is disorderly. It's disorderly. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, say what? Whisperers, say what? Whisperers, don't join the brotherhood. Don't join the brethren. Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things disobedient to parents or to the elders and apostles disobedient to parents so these are those walking in the spirit of Saul they are against government against order they are against dignitaries or governors against dignitaries governors against the establishment of the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David. See how the scriptures go together? Proverbs 6 and 18. See, watch this. A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief. See, let's just go ahead and establish a rebellious chat group of rebels. Remember these things the most high hate. A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. See? So they're trying to chip away at the Lord's rebuilding of his church, his temple, sowing discord. That's inequity. That's unevenness. Disorder. Every stone has to be smoothened out, precisely cut, chipping away the old man, the old world. So these dissenters, these disruptors are messing up a perfect structure of being rebuilt. So they're creating imbalance, iniquities, confusion. That's enough on that. Let's get ready to close out. Psalms 26 and 6. So how can we preach a gospel of one spirit, one doctrine, one baptism, one name, 
but yet were coming against that solidarity under the doctrine of Yahweh Shai and the disciples. It does not make sense. Those are demons, seven wicked abominations or demonic spirits of disorder. Psalms 26 and 6. I will wash my hands in innocency, so will I compass thine altar, O Lord. So to be, to be an acceptable sacrifice is to be cleansed. And teaching the word helps to cleanse a lot of sins away. And suffering. Not only that, but putting on the garment of praise. Wearing the doctrine that we are promoting and teaching. See, Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house. Lord, I have loved the rebuilding of the house of David. I have loved it and demonstrated that through laborious works, diligence, sincerity, integrity. The building structure has to have integrity of the stones being racked and stacked together or the entire building falls. Not lying, murmuring, and backbiting. Psalms 26 and 8. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. So to be a backbiter or a hater, that is an individual that is has a murderous spirit. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. That envy, pride, it is backed up by a spirit of vengeance, malice, or maliciousness that we just read in Romans 1. See how the scriptures go together? We read that maliciousness in Romans 1. So there is a spirit of, there is a murderous, bloodthirsty spirit behind pride, envy, murmurers, backbiters, lust. Psalms 26 and 9. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. We know about Ezel from Friday, bribing brothers out of money. You see, the right thing to do is a video and repent. Ask for forgiveness to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and apologize to the brotherhood, the brethren, the congregation, the church, and those spreading slander, murmuring, backbiting, to repent from that and make an apology video in sincerity. But first and foremost, asking for forgiveness to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in whose hands is mischief and their right hand is full of bribes. Did we not read that? We got to we got to take our time and keep up with where the Spirit is leading us. We read that in Proverbs six. I'm going to go back to it. Proverbs six and eighteen: A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, milking the brotherhood out of money, bribes, and spreading slander, murmuring, backbiting, wicked imaginations. You can't make this up on how accurate and spot on the Bible is and the spirit of truth. And I've been saying this for a while. The truth attracts all types of creatures all types of creatures are pulled up into this net or this truth through the World Wide Web, the internet, 
The truth is likened unto a big net cast into the sea of peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues, and pulling up all types of wicked, decrepit shellfish. Let's close out. Psalms, Psalms 26 and 10. In whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth even, my foot standeth in an even place, and the congregations will I bless the Lord. Let's look up that word even. My foot stand in an even place. That was the spirit that I was in. That these dissemblers that are sowing discord, they're making the building uneven. Imbalance, sowing discord, griping, mumbling, backbiting, murmuring. See, I was speaking through the Spirit, didn't even know it. Wow. So they're creating imbalances, inequity. Let's go ahead and look that word up. Wow. I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew that was coming up. I'd be lying to you. <clears throat> Psalms 26 and 12. My foot standeth in an even place. In the congregations will I bless the Lord. Let's look up that word even. In an even place. In the Hebrew. Mayashua. Mayashua. Mayashua which means equity, plain, made right, straight, walking the straight and narrow path, not being a fake Jake or fake it till I make it, level, wow, straight, justice or just, justice, equity, an even place. Righteous. So the straight and narrow path is the righteous path. The path Yahweh Shai took. Go ahead and end it there. My voice is dry as hell. So hopefully these lessons are edifying. Let's read the brother's scriptures real quick. So suffering and making the hard right turn over the easy left turn and suffering patiently instead of looking for a shortcut. Now I'm going to go this way. That other way looks painful. The road is too bumpy. Potholes and all types of debris and rocks. I'm not going that way. Well, get you a four, a four wheel, a full doctrine. And that four represents mercy. Of your how shot. I ain't gonna go that way. I'm gonna make I'm gonna go ahead and make this left turn up here. This easy left hand turn. Bug out. Bug out. That's the devil whispering to you. Which is really a, a, a wicked demonic spirit on assignment from the most high. Who would go and persuade Nino Brown? Or a bugged out ass Jake that think he's the man. Let's go here. <clears throat> Brother GMS, Spiritual Art 144, Matthew 13 and 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. So this World Wide Web is a tool or a vehicle that the Most High put together to push his word. It's doing the heavy lifting.
particularly through YouTube. But all types of wicked shellfish are being pulled into the net. Shrimp, crab, and lobster. Boiled out jigs. Matthew 13 and 48. Which, when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So the angels are separating the Lord's sincere, worshiping him in spirit and truth. The clean fish, if you will, that are lawful to eat or that are meat for repentance. I'm spe speaking in dark sayings. So to be too comfortable is off. To be too comfortable or too happy right now, having consolation on this side, is off. Basing in the glory of riches gotten by the sea, chasing after tail. And I'm not talking about white tail deer, but chasing ever after lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, following the pride of life, envy. We have no reason to be jealous of another brother. We all at the bottom with a foot up our backside, paying taxes out the backside. So to try to just, you know, puff ourselves up or try to glory in ourselves is ignorant to glory in ourselves. That's ignorant. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises. To Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kwakadash. Double line and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved of the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. And to the beloved ladies listening and learning in meekness and humility as the scriptures command to do so. And to those that are sincere, listening and following in meekness and sincerity. Hopefully this has been an edifying lesson. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem from Kakadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala and abide the Bible. We got next, Lord willing. And the water beloved, proposing the scriptures, helping to edify the body, and feed the lambs of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yasharala and Abad Baba. We got next. Lord Willem. Barakatan. Shalom.